Hey everybody, it's me, Kay. And it's me, Nori. And we are playing one of the coolest side-scrolling shooters I've ever seen. Oh man, it's so cool. This is my secret robot. <laughs> Here we come, Kogo -Go Army. How can that be a secret robot? That thing's like 30 meters tall. Okay, good. They kept that a good secret then. Oh yeah, no, um, it's, 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 he just hides it in his giant base. Yeah. All right, this is Supercharged Robot Volkaiser for PC. We're going to play a session of this. I'm going to do it on the easiest difficulty because this game is hard as hell. That is wise. And I can't beat it on normal. So <laughs> I can't beat it on normal. So much shame. Okay, that's fine. Super electric circuits coming online. Fly, Volkaiser. Oh. If you are a fan of uh, a fan translations of anime, you'll love the big yellow black bordered text that is every bit of text in this game. It's so authentically cheesy in absolutely every way. Oh yeah, okay, we're going with uh, with the drill here. This is the mechanic of the game, is you can choose different upgrades for Volkaiser here. He combines with his little subunits to do various things. The drill is just friggin' awesome, because it blocks bullets in front of you too. Yeah, it's got a lot of uh, uh, side-scrolling shooter elements, but it also pays so much homage to, well, really, I guess Americans would really only see it in the form of Voltron or something like that. Yeah, this is General Raz. Yield to me, Earthlings. <laughs> Yield to this me. This is my drill. It will pierce the heavens. I... Oh, he's back. Oh, no, yeah, okay. <laughs> They changed forms there into a robot. All of his machines do that. They're like some kind of animal, and then they turn into a robot when they get messed up. Because of course they do. Hey. I mean, that's efficient design. And he just flew away in his little skate pod. <laughs> As they always do. Of course. You can't kill the, the bad guy until the end of the first season. Yeah, if anyone's not familiar with what this is, and, and I don't blame you if this seems really weird, if not, uh, it's hearkening back to all kinds of... Uh, what's called Super Robot cartoons in Japan from mostly the 1970s and 80s. They're really, really cheesy and glorious cartoons that, that many people grew up on. These are where Voltron actually came from. Uh, he was known over there as Golion. Oh, the Axe guys. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh there's shit. so many. Oh, shit. <laughs> Giant robot. Okay, tunneling robot, Nejeringer. <laughs> Nejiringer. Oh, oh, that's glorious. Oh. That's the best robot. <laughs> that is... That uh. is... Oh, man. Oh, that's your super attack, Yeah, every it? different function on you has what's called an Omega attack. Yeah. Oh, he shoots his drill at me. His drills... They, first of all, they come up like those paper dispenser cups. Yeah. They, they self-replicate. <laughs> he's just got a million. I don't understand his workings. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Yeah, your drill. My drill is better than your drill. <laughs> All right. Thankfully, that was only a drill. Oh my god. <laughs> I love the smash cut to the, the score screen. Oh just yeah. Immediately. So each each character is a pilot of one of the little sub modules, like Suzuna Jujo here. You won, Tokuya. Once it closes in, Drill Kaiser can destroy anything, but to fully utilize its power requires both the skill to avoid enemy attacks and nerves of steel. Build up your combat experience and learn the enemy's patterns. You'll be able to counter with the drill missiles before they appear. Do that and survive. <laughs> Thank you. I will do that. Don't do that and won't survive. Let's wait. Episode 2, The Darkness in the Sky. All right, it's time for stage 2. Oh. We're going to use a different weapon. So much darkness in the sky. Yeah, it's very... <laughs> okay, maybe these guys are like the darkness. Oh, uh, yeah, but it's, it's metaphorical. It's not like some of those episodes of, say, Mazinger Z, where they said, oh, Koji Kabuto dies in lava. That was the best episode title, just Koji Kabuto dies in lava. He, he didn't, by the way. <laughs> he didn't remotely do that. Okay, we got Thunder Kaiser now, which is one of the better ones, in my opinion, just because of the huge fan it fires. Oh, yeah, yeah, And yeah. when you charge up enough here, you unleash a big beam that just takes everybody out. This is, this, uh, really leans toward games like Raiden. Oh, yeah. This is almost like point for point some stuff that appeared in that. Oh, sure. Especially the laser beam. I love the music in this game, too. Oh, he's got squid this time. How dare you, Whoa. Earth Scum? Oh, God, that squid. Why does it make the potion? Does, I don't know why. Does that help it stay aloft? He's got a new thing going on now. He's changed shape. Oh, he's gone. Oh. See you, Ross. <laughs> Darn you once again. 
Darn you, Volkaiser! <laughs> oh, that big thunder beam is just outstanding, by the way. It seems really effective. It's, it's wrecking these guys. You know what doesn't seem effective? All these eyeballs on everything. Do they do they honestly need them? Maybe they have a theme. It's like a union thing. Oh, they have yeah. to have eyeballs. It's just like you can't fly up there if they don't have a certain number of eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> they have to have like special rules. They get different wage if they don't get eyeballs. Uh, uh look, uh, Emperor Blueskin here. Uh, I was noticing that uh, we're all ready for the attack, but there uh, just ain't many eyeballs. We're uh, we're not gonna be able to fly. <laughs> Allow me to remind you: is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a massive robot. This is Aerobot Hengenger. Hengenger. <laughs> also, like the paint jobs on everything are loud as possible. Uh, oh, whoa! Oh, skills! <laughs> wow! Oh, oh, it changed. Oh, that actually, hi. That was actually pretty impressive. Woo. Get away from me. I, I love the, the reptile, like, toothy overbite that it has. Ah, take my Omega attack. Oh, shit! Oh, uh-oh. Oh, that looks like it would be bad for him. It, it, however, it seems to be bad for you. Are there different pilots in each part? I don't know. I think they're like drone parts. Now it's a fish, so it was a yeah. bird, then a lizard, now a fish. Oh, take him to the river. Drop him in the water. Ow! Oh. <laughs> and now it's finally a robot. <laughs> it was always a robot. <laughs> no, it was a it was a bird and a fish. Remember? Oh, right. Ah, ah, ah! Silly. Oh no! <laughs> Wait, how do you still have your fist? Paper cup fist. Oh, it's like the drill from the last guy. Oh, <laughs> oh, I think that got him, though. Oh, I didn't see anyone eject. I don't think they did. Rest Hold in there. peace. This is our our pilot of the uh, Thunder Kaiser, Kaiko Yamashita. <laughs> we did great, right, senpai? The Thunder Kaiser is a real man's weapon. Its Omega weapon isn't so powerful, but admitting your own weaknesses is the proof of a real man, too, right? <laughs> You know, around my neighborhood, they say I'm the most courageous kid in all of Japan. Well, they don't actually say that, but someday they will. He's the obligatory uh, kid of the team, just like the obligatory girl of the team we just had. Yes, there's always an obligatory kid. Yeah, an obligatory girl. Oh my god, the phone's ringing. Oh god. Alright, we're back. Breakthrough Sawing Attack, Episode 3. It's time to find another module here. Immediate western gunslinger music a la Massacre Z. Oh, yeah. Every time you fought somebody, it played like Wild West music. It's a very strange choice, but it works somehow. Yeah. Just instead of six shooters, he had chest lasers. Out. Needle Kaiser with the other obligatory girl of the group. That's unusual. Oh, Pac Man. Usually one is all the girl any group can handle back in the 1970s. Oh, yeah. Anything more than that, it's like, oh, there's something weird going on. So, Needle Kaiser doesn't do a lot of damage, but it has a pretty wide area of effect, and that's very nice. Yeah, I'm noticing it has a lot of spread. Yeah, I, I think it's inferior, in my opinion, to Thunder Kaiser, because Thunder Kaiser does this better. Yeah, it kind of does. Oh, look at the little running guys! <laughs> Rejoice for your upcoming Ooh. subjugation. Now he's got a snail robot. He has a snail robot. I mean, like... Uh, look at the front, the, the front of it with the eyes. <laughs> Somebody had oh. to build and design those. Yep. Oh, now he's the actual robot. Whoa, he's oh. got a buzzsaw. Oh, he's expecting... <laughs> he's expecting you to get cut in half. Yeah. Oh, wait, where'd he get... Okay, I guess he's just gone. All yep. right. Took too long to kill him, so he just kind of abandoned it. I see what you mean about Thunder Kaiser being better, though, because... I mean, the spread's bigger on Needle Kaiser, but uh, you, there's really no point in it going off screen. There are no enemies off screen. No. I love the look, missile guy. I love that tank guy there, too. <laughs> Clearly a reference to the gun tank from Mobile Suit Gundam. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's a bunch of spaceships later that look like that, too. Giant UFO approaching. It's a cigar shaped carrier. Cigaringer. Cigaringer? <laughs> they actually named it. Ah, oh, my oh. Omega attack just is a screen-wide explosion. Yes. Not very damaging, but not bad, because it will wipe out bullets and stuff, too. I mean, I, I think it'll suffice for destroying this Ultraman-ass <laughs> spaceship over here. 
Ultra Man. Yeah. Maybe. Oh. Oh, oh! 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 Clutch! Oh! Don't! Don't box me in there, buddy. <laughs> don't put me in a corner. It's. It's. I do like the Needle Kaiser here because it takes out the stuff that it's shooting out of the top and bottom. If you can just kind of line up with it. Oh yeah, it seems to be really good for just a lot of random stuff it's, like detritus around the field. Yeah. It's good for the bosses, like this boss specifically. It's not really great on a lot of other situations, but I do like it for this boss. Oh god. <laughs> It really is curious of him to stop firing once he reaches the screen. Yes, there we go. And he's down. <laughs> Let's hear about Needle Kaiser. <laughs> Kimiko Usui. Well done, Akatsuki-san. Was it hard to beat the boss robot? Was it hard to beat the boss robot hard with Needle Kaiser? Uh... <laughs> it's actually designed to handle multiple enemies rather than concentrating fire, but you can count on me to do my best. Swarms of small enemies are my specialty. Let's take it to them, sir. I don't like the way you put that. I, I don't want to beat the boss hard. <laughs> that Okay, All Out Space Raid, Episode 4. Alright, we're actually in space now. Oh, that high-res Google Earth shot there. Yeah. Photorealism. I don't think they understand how multi-stage rockets work. No. Okay, we're going with the old guy of the group, Rocket Kaiser. Who's, <laughs> it's either an old guy or a fat guy every time. Yeah, yeah, it's... That is a, a staple of Super Robot, is that you need a fat guy, but barring that, you can't have an old guy. I love the station music. Oh, these are so Gundam. Oh, yeah, they're a little like Guazines from Mobile Suit Gundam, except gray. Oh, look at that in the background. What's that? Oh, that's ominous. It's like a giant dark space fish. Oh, hey there. Uh oh. Master Gogo approaches. Your annihilation is at hand. <laughs> So this weapon fires lots of missiles, as you can see. Oh, he turned into a crab. And it's special as a giant missile that's far larger than Volkheiser. I mean, it's what it says on the tin. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that big missile does an absolute ass ton of damage. Also, these things are straight up Musai's from Gundam. They are such Musai's. It's like, like the Musai class. They even have a little thing on the top. Yeah. <laughs> Only this time it's I got an actual eyeball. It was vague before, but now they just like, why not? It fits with our other eyeball-themed army. <laughs> Please die, you they have so much while. health. Wow. There we go, there's oh, one down. Oh, they split in half. Just like in Gundam. Yeah. Where you can photorealistically see them break apart, and it's horrifying. Yep. I don't want to combine. I want this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you do. Rocket Kaiser's pretty legit. Uh-oh. What's this? Super villain robot Waru Kiger. Oh my goodness! It's, it's just, just an evil version of us, as is required in every Super Robot series. That is such a trope. Oh, oh my God, he's down. Oh, now he's got the Needle Kaiser, which is the real one. <laughs> Let me use my Omega attack on him there. The professor that made your robot can't tell which one is the real one. Yeah, he's he's an outstanding man. <laughs> there we go. So he's lost Rocket and Needle. Now he's got. Oh, that's Thunder Kaiser. I like that they all have eyeballs on them, though. Oh! We went through the trouble of building one just like yours with all the attachments. And eyeballs on them. Yeah, oh, of course eyeballs. Like, it wouldn't be there. Oh! Not. Now he's drill. Oh, this is worrying. Oh! Whoa. Hi. Oh! Oh! Hi. Skills! <laughs> Dang, yo! Oh, God. This, this looks tough. This is actually a pretty hard boss. Whew. Jeez. There we go. And Waru Kiger is down. Nice. On we go. That's the way you do it. Yukimasa Murata. <laughs> you won that time, but you're still wet behind the ears, kid. You can't keep relying on the Volkheiser's armor like that if you want to survive the next battle. The trick is to avoiding enemy bullets is efficient. The trick is to avoiding enemy bullets is efficient movement. <laughs> Remember, even if you're surrounded by bullets, the only ones you need to avoid are the dangerous ones. <laughs> the dangerous bullets. <laughs> Episode 5, final battle at the moon base of evil. I mean, is there a good moon base? <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen one. Okay, this is straight up Mazinger fight music right now. Oh, for sure. I would think that would have played with the Waru Kiger. Yeah, all right. We're going back to the real man's weapon. Yeah, the Thunder Kaiser. hot-blooded yelling. Yes. We'll surprise them with our longest robot. <laughs> oh, it's their longest robot. Good. 
this is a this is a staple of old cartoons like this where they they used all the ideas, even the really dumb ones. Oh yeah, even the bad, bad, bad ones. You could tell it was necessitated by needing more episodes. Yep. Oh, and now it's just like a weird mantis instead of a centipede mantis. We'll surprise them with our scythist robot. Surprise them with our most Christmassy robot. <laughs> I think that happened. That did happen in some series. I've seen a few where they had a Christmas-themed monster or robot. <laughs> and that's always weird because Japan doesn't celebrate Christmas. Very odd. Real weird Just choice. any excuse for an episode theme. The Cinco de Mayo robot. <laughs> that was in G Gundam. <laughs> it totally was. Its, name was, Gundam. its name was Tequila Gundam. Oh, so sad. Very unfortunate. Please die already. Oh man, that thing has just... Oh, it broke. Oh. Enemies approaching. I see. Oh, oh good. No. These things have bathtubs of health. There's so much. I just shaved all the guns off of it, so it's not much of a threat now. <laughs> it's like a potato peeler. Just took him right off. Scrubbed the nubs right off it. Oh, boy. This is actually working pretty good. I like this here. Oh, no. Nah, right. I don't want to <laughs> drill. I like that you avoided it, nevertheless, out of pure practice. They finally found their flagship. This is their nerve center, Robo Warship Congo. And of course, it has a robot on the top, which has an eye. Of course. Oh, is it like a robot gorilla? Is that why it's Congo? I don't know what they're going for here. It even has tank treads. Oh my god, it flies and has tank treads. Why? What for? It does. Ah! What the hell? What? Oh man! They've got some crazy seeking on those. Oh, Wait. I dig the taxi yellow paint job on those. Oh, yeah. Very stealthy. Boy, those, those missiles, they know about me, man. <laughs> <laughs> they know where you live. They do. God damn. Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, that, was, that was a little scary. Yeah, seems to be better just to take out the missiles than try and fly around them. Even though this character you're playing is the hot shot pilot that's obligatory in every single of super course. robot. Anything. They're the person that pilots the robot itself. Even if everybody's piloting it, they're the one who pilots it. I've never been really super sure on how that works, but you know. Oh, it's gone. We destroyed oh. the GoGo -Go army. Nice. We've won. We win. We win. Destroyed the evil in the universe. Yay, we smashed their moon base. Our man Kaiko scores the huge win. I was jealous because you barely used Thunder Kaiser, but I knew you'd pick me in the end. <laughs> All right, then. Let's break out the soda and party. <laughs> hey, what's that? It wasn't me. I didn't mess with the alarm. The <laughs> professor must have triggered it. That has to be it. Are you going to the command center, senpai? I'll go with you. Emergency. A giant creature is on a collision course with Earth. Oh, no. <laughs> We're in terrible danger. Like the old guy's just like, eh. <laughs> the Earth. Oh was swallowed. Oh no. But we didn't have any time to react. That that sucked. I don't I, <laughs> One day remains until Earth is digested. Final episode, Shine On Star of Hope. Really? Yes, we're inside Gogo. <laughs> the giant monster himself. <laughs> fighting our, our way out. Oh now all the all the robots are replaced with weird like bioorganic stuff. Yep. Let's grab Rocket Kaiser. Yeah. Oh, they're so wiggly. I don't yeah, like it. We're fighting our way through his internal defenses. Weird. I don't... Mm. I like all the, like, survivors in the background. Oh, yeah. Trying to trying to make the way through this post-apocalyptic God Sigma situation. Yeah. Oh. Oh, man, this stage is hard. Oh. You only get one life in this, by the way. Oh, that's right. That's yeah. true, isn't it? You earthlings, such courage! It's just... It's just Roz, he was swallowed too. Wow. Just in his escape pod. Oh, and he's down. Oh, no. Oh, no he's not. Now he's actually fighting us. No, he's actually him. He's become huge and is fighting us. I like Garuda from Combat Movie. Yep. Oh. Those swords. Fight on, heroes of Earth. Oh. I he like was okay. That. Yeah. He, he, he was the final test. He had to make sure you were worthy. Yeah. Now there's just shooting eyeballs at us. The circle is finally complete. <laughs> Some of these things actively shoot eyeballs. Oh my god, so much shit is coming at me. Let's just cut the bullshit. Let's just fire eyeballs. 
This time, no more decorations, no more hinting at it. We're just gonna go full door. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to Thunder Kaiser. Thunder Kaiser! I do like me some Thunder Kaiser. It's so wiggly in the back. Oh, yeah. Boy, uh -oh. they didn't do very good that way. Fellow humans, this is the final battle! All the jets are trying to help. Oh, no! The space evil Go Go! He certainly does look evil and very space. And very go. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, this looks hard. This oh. is actually pretty damn hard, yeah. This looks very difficult. I, oh, man. This harkens back to all kinds of unknowable, oh. horrible space evils that yep. giant robots have fought. I highly recommend this game to anybody who loves a good side-scrolling shooter. The other difficulties are insanely hard, too. Oh, yeah, so. this is just easy. Yeah. I Sun, this is on Steam if you care to pick it up. It's pretty cheap, it's like five bucks. It's well worth the cost. Definitely. Especially if you're a fan of super robots like oh, we are. Oh, yeah, then it's 100%. There's really nothing else out there like this. There's plenty of stuff that takes newer robot concepts and puts you in space and things like that, but nothing really does it like this. Nothing harkens back to the days when a robot fought a monster once a week, <laughs> and it was always something incredibly stupid. We're tearing open a hole. You can see space now. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, it's firing itself. Somehow. Paradox. Oh, no. Oh, 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 it's, oh things are getting sweaty. I lost. I lost my Thunder Kaiser. Oh, no. All I've got is shooting my uh, fists now. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Fist shooting. Come on. Which, it wouldn't be a super robot if it couldn't fire its fists, of course. Well, I mean, naturally. Oh, oh. Ooh. Oh, God. Fists are actually really good here. There we go. Oh, you did it! I did it! I think I did it! Yep! Oh! Woo! Woo! That was... that was rough! I'm not sure what kind of effect that had on our orbit, if that thing was moving around with us, but... <laughs> off we go into the sunset for more adventures. The end! Oh, glorious from start to finish. Now we get the end credits. <laughs> Incredible art director. Oh, yeah. It's just like what they, they show, like, fan art from Super Robot cartoons sometimes on the show. Oh, yeah, they did used to do that. Yeah. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. It was short but very fun, and we'll see you in a, another video later on. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.